Hello everyone, this is Pranav of SOAS and today I'll talk about uh, RPA and how we can do RPA using Certify. So if you're not familiar with RPA, RPA is a robotics process automation which basically is a concept of doing business oriented repeatable tasks. So for the purposes of this video, I've created a test case scenario where this folder all forms has all kinds of uh, formats of files but we are only concerned about the RTF files which has the name format of bank statement 1 and bank statement 2. So there can be a number of bank statement files like if I open up this uh, bank statement 1 file this is a JP Morgan bank form and by reading their names we cannot tell which file belongs to which bank form and if I open a bank statement 2 this form is a GT bank form so only by looking at the names we cannot tell which file belongs to which form but we need to move these files ignoring the other formats of the files that are uh, here in this folder so this is the requirement of the client supposedly and what we are basically doing is uh, ignoring the other formats of the files which let's say were downloaded along with the actual files that we need in this folder which in this case is the RTF the rich text format files and ignoring the other word documents like the Microsoft Word document files which I have purposely put here along with the files to show that the unnecessary files does not get moved along with the actual files that we need to move so where we actually need to move these files is the C drive so I'll quickly go to the C drive and uh, so they all need to be in the folder named forms so the files need to be uh, moved here and according to their formats there needs to be folders here which are not created right now so if it's a GT bank form it will go to a separate GT bank form folder so this is all the requirement that uh, this ca test case uh, need and uh, I'll quickly run the process that I have created so let's go to the process so yeah I'll quickly run this and then we'll go in the explaining of the process and how we did the whole process So I'll delete the form that's uh, here. So the folder is gone now. So all the folders need to be created with the process. So you can see the word file being opened. So this is the second form that's being checked. So now we have the results. So we'll quickly check uh, how did the files uh, do. So if I go to the C drive, uh, you can see uh, yeah, the forms folder is being created and the GT bank form and the JP Morgan form are being created. So if I go inside, I'll see the bank statement 2, which is the GT bank form. And uh, if I go to the JP Morgan folder, and this is the bank statement 1, which is of course the JP Morgan form. Yeah, JP Morgan form. So now we have successfully uh, moved the files according to their formats 
and now we'll go to the explaining of the process and how we did that and what we used in the process so there are two things that you need to know in this process so the first one is uh, primo and i'll show you uh, where to find that so you have to go under tools then configure so you see primo here so what primo is it's a re image recognition tool uh, provided by certify so it's a control uh, by which uh, we can recognize any image which is uh, on the screen so i'll quickly uh, show you an uh, example so if i go to this word document so it is a jp morgan form now i'll uh, try to capture its image so this is how we create an image and i will now save it uh, with the name jp2 so you can also highlight uh, the match so you can see it uh, sh recognizes the image that we have just uh, captured and now i have uh, saved the control with the name jp2 so now if you try to recognize it so let me create a new dummy process so yes uh, here we'll uh, try to live touch the control that we have just created so i will uh, uh, check for the settings first so uh, we'll see the if uh, silver light is enabled yes so i'll start to live touch so now you can see it recognizes it as a object so now i can save and close so now all i have to do is uh, check for the existence of the object that we have just live touched so in the actions i'll go to exists and this is the this is what primarily is uh, happening in this uh, process so this is how you recognize what is in front of the screen so now uh, all i have to do is open up the bank statement and verify the existence of the object that i have created which is only found in the jp morgan file so the secondary thing that we need to do is a uh, file movement and we'll do that uh, using command prompt it's a terminal where we give commands and in certify this is how we give uh, input dos commands and uh, the thing with certify is uh, we have to concatenate the whole command first uh, as a variable and then send it to the command prompt using this action so the first uh, command that i need to send to the command prompt is uh, i need to make a list of the actual files that we'll be needing so this is how we concatenate it so first i have to give cd backslash then the second uh, value will be enter which is an empty uh, value so the second uh, thing we need to find is where the file is located and this is the command uh, to make a list of the files of the specific format which is rtf so if i go to the uh, all forms folder you can see the list was created uh, when we ran the process so these are the file names that uh, were uh, stored in this file named as list so i'll go back to the process uh, now you can see i am importing that uh, file so that i can create a record set which will be used by the child process uh, to have the names of the files that we need to move so we'll go inside this child process and we can see that uh, this child process is using that record set that we imported from the list file so you can check the file names here uh, these are the files that we'll need to move and only those files uh, were imported so continuing with the 
command prompt here so firstly I need to open up the file uh, using command prompt so all I have to give its uh, location and its name from the record set and uh, it will be opened so this is uh, how we open up the file so first file is a bank statement one which can be any of the forms of uh, available so once I have uh, done that uh, uh, I have to go to the label which I have created so first label is JP Morgan label so it will check for the existence of the object here and uh, if it's found it's uh, it continues its uh, concatenation of the uh, commands and it will give the command of movement of that file so here we are concatenating it so this is the mkdir forms uh, command which will make uh, the f folder with the name jp morgan and uh, uh, this is the second uh, concatenation for the command and this is the x copy command uh, which will copy the file uh, from the original location to the destination and it the file will have the name from the record set and it will be copied to the JP Morgan folder so this is uh, all uh, concatenated in uh, one variable and in the next step I am uh, giving it uh, as a command prompt as a input for the command prompt so if the existence is not there with the JP Morgan object it will uh, skip this uh, step and go to the GT bank label and the same steps uh, will be done here it will uh, uh, try to find the existence of the object of the GT bank form uh, that we created and the same steps uh, for movement of those files uh, will be uh, here uh, same concatenation and DOS commands so I'll show you so same uh, command of making a uh, folder with the name GT bank for GT bank and here the X copy command for the file to be moved with the bank name as a variable coming from the record set and this is the location that is needs to be moved so all this is going in uh, one variable and it will be sent as a command so this is a very basic example of RPA and how we can do RPA using certify so I'll go to the folder so uh, this is the folder that was created uh, using the steps uh, and these uh, folders JP Morgan uh, and uh, GT Bank uh, were created in the process and they both have their respective files that were needed to move and uh, I'll quickly show you the commands that were used so this is the first command mkdir then folder name then the second uh, command is dir uh, slash s and the format that you need to create and the third command is the xcopy command thank you guys for watching see you next time